Hi, this is Laurie Sherrod with Clemson University. I'd like to demonstrate the new features in the Windows 7 version of Paint. The first thing you'll notice is the new ribbons across the top of the screen. What I'd like to do first is go to the tab that says View. On this tab, there's an option called Grid Lines, which you can turn off or on. They do not become a part of your file, but they help you line things up, so I'll turn them on. Next, I'll return to the Home tab. Now I'd like to show you the new feature called Brushes. I'll start by selecting the default brush. The color options have moved to the ribbon also. Color 1 is the foreground color and color 2 is the background color. To change the foreground color, I'm going to click on the red button. Now I'll select several of the different brushes and draw different lines to get several red lines on the screen. Another new feature is shapes. I'm going to select the five point star. With my new star selected, if I click on the Select tool, notice the Transparent selection. I'll have that on. Now with my star selected, if I move it on top of the red lines, notice that it's transparent. You can see behind it. This is a change from the old paint where when you moved things around, you saw a white background. Next, I'll use the Text tool. Noticed on the text toolbar at the top, you'll see that you have a choice of opaque or transparent. And we have transparent selected. Now when I drag the word paint on top of my red lines, notice that it also is transparent, no white background. If you click on the file menu, you have several new options. And if you click on save as, you have some new file formats. In the lower right hand corner, there's a zoom tool similar to the one found in some Office 2007 products. The new Windows Paint is really nice. If you get a chance, give it a try.